Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick update. So, um, I know I just recently did an update to 1.01 for the mods, uh, for the map and the machines. I'm just gonna do one more quick release. It'll be 1.02. Uh, it's only 1.02 for the equipment. Um, the only thing I did change was just the Pro Pack Buncher Head. So I had lots of issues, both myself and with people reporting that trees were disappearing uh, when you go to cut them. So you'd go in for a scoop and the whole tree would just either disappear or you'd be dropping a, uh, like a big bunch into a pile and then half the trees would disappear because they would hit the, the cutter head on it. So I went ahead and I've been playing with this thing for, I want to say the last 30 hours trying to figure out exactly what's going on here. Um, it is a little bit different from 2019, the way they've changed the cut nodes, which is kind of a pain in the butt for me uh, from a modding perspective. So what I've had to do is I've had to slow down the cutter a tiny bit. Um, when you're cutting, like it's not super noticeable, but if you're, you know, if you're working too fast, like uh, with your settings cranked up really high, you'll probably have a little bit of an issue. But I, I've been cutting for the last little bit and it's been pretty good. So what I did is I ended up moving the base plate where the trees sit and angled that a little bit differently. Um, I've also changed the cut node a little bit and slowed it down so that it uh, doesn't exactly evaporate, ev evap evaporate, evaporate the trees. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. All right. So I just, instead of uh, putting out a text post, because I put out enough of those, I figured I'd do a quick little video showing off how it is. So like I said, when you go in for a, uh, to cut a tree, it still it still cuts fine. It's a little it's a little bit slower than it was before. Like it's not instant zap cuts anymore. Um, you do have to kind of feed it into there a bit, and then it grabs it. But now when you go to drop, um, it doesn't make contact with the blade anymore. So when you go to drop, it actually drops them in some pretty nice little piles. Uh, so let's grab a bunch here. So we get this one. Now, um, that being said, it is still possible to have trees disappear on weird angles and stuff. Um, I haven't found it to be too, too bad. So when you go to drop, they actually kind of fall like in a nice kind of grouping usually. Uh, so let's grab a bunch of little ones here. So grab one of those, and one of those, and one of those. All right, so then when you actually go to drop, they kind of fall nice now. They uh, they fall in a group without b making contact with the blade, uh, because before you go to drop, and they'd actually make contact with the blade as they fell, and then it would cause them to hang up and get all jittery, and most of them would disappear when you went to cut. So now when you actually go to cut, um, it doesn't make the trees disappear. But like I said, that being said, sometimes on weird angles, I'll see if I can do it with this one. Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's good. Sometimes on weird angles, like when you're going uphill, I've still seen very rarely I see the odd one disappear. Um, again, it's quite rare in comparison. But like I said, I'm I'm cutting pretty pretty quick here. Not like insanely fast, but pretty quick. And uh, you know they're not they're not going away. Uh, sometimes on the downhill too, they do it a little bit. But again, it was really rare when I was seeing it since I've played with it. But it, I mean, it still can happen. I'm gonna try to see if I can do it on this one. So it's these these kind of smaller trees. So if you're moving downhill, going for a grab, okay, well, all right, we're just lucky. But if you do see a tree disappear once in a while, uh, it is just the way the new cut nodes are, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. I mean, technically, if you think about it, <laughs> we're, uh, we've created a, a device here that's not exactly designed to do, it wasn't built to be a thing in this game uh, the way we've been using it. So we're kind of forcing the game to do something it's not supposed to. So there's always going to be a little bit of issues doing that. So yeah, but I mean, for the most part, uh, efficiency-wise, I'd say this thing's a lot better than what it was. And like I said, I've gotten tons of emails from people saying, Why are the trees disappearing? And I'm like, God, I'm so sorry. It's just the way uh, the new cut nodes are. But like I said, this one's working pretty good. Again, if I, I have my settings, um, like for my arm sensitivity, at 100%. So if you cranked it up to like 150 or some crazy thing like that, um, you're gonna have issues probably cutting because your 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 cutter head's gonna be moving too quick into the into the trees to actually cut them, and then you might hit them. But I mean, at 100%, and I'm mowing these guys down pretty pretty decently here, um, and I haven't had an issue with hitting any uh, 
hitting any of the stumps or any of that stuff. Also, um, because these trees are a little bit higher, um, sometimes it actually wipes out the stumps for you, which is kind of nice. Uh, so depending how low you cut to the ground, sometimes it does leave a stump behind like this. But if we switch over to developer mode here, you can see the ground. So out of all those trees, there's a few stumps here and there. But for the most part, all those trees that we cleaned out, it doesn't leave stumps behind. So having less stumps on the ground is actually more efficient uh, probably for your gameplay. So that would be pretty good. Um, another thing I wanted to point out. Uh, so in the last update I did for the 1.01, I made uh, an FPS fix on the interior. Uh, oh, see, there you go. I actually deleted a tree on that one. So if you, if you get the tree stuck on a weird angle, sometimes you do see the odd one disappear. But like I said, it's greatly greatly reduced um, compared to what it was before um, so anyway back to uh, that FPS update so with that FPS update s what I did is I ended up reducing the range um, that you can see from inside the cab so like distance wise it was set to a really high ratio so I reduced that ratio down so you can't see as far and it increased my frame rate on mine by like I think 40 frames or something, which is crazy. My FPS is doing so much better now. But with that, there is a sacrifice. Now, when you're trekking around in the woods in first person or loading a truck, most of the time you don't notice stuff um, like this. But I'll see if I can uh, get it to happen here. So what happens is because I've reduced the range at which this thing can see, I've improved frame rate because you're not loading as much of the models and things that are going on in the game. But with that, the sacrifice is at long range you're going to see uh, some technical glitches with the landscape because you're not able to see the full distance uh, I'm just gonna try to get up high here so I can see um, see if I can see where that is now I left it alone in the third person which is why you'll probably see um, some graphical issues in third person oh, there we go try to drag myself along here you won't, or you won't see any graphical errors in third person, but you will see them in first person. I was trying to see if that mountain would do it, but it doesn't. So we're just going to trek up here. It'll be when I look down on the valley, that's when you'll see it here. So we'll try to slowly trek over this way. Um, other than that, I've been hearing good things about the mods so far. Everybody's liking them. Um, there's tons of stuff coming still. I have uh, a skitter on the way right now that's being worked. Um, it's very, very much in beta mode, but the body looks incredible. The rest of it looks incredible. It's it's pretty well ready to ready to get all the fun details done. Uh, I'm just working on some some stuff with the grapple to make sure it's efficient. Um, trying to decide whether we need, like I I don't really want locking straps, but I think we're gonna have to put locking straps on it if we can. Um, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. I can start to see the glitchy landscape from here. But yeah, lots of lots of great feedback from everybody, and I really do appreciate everyone looking at stuff and finding things. And like I said, I'm only one guy, so between Chad and Al, those are my only two real tester guys that I use. So whenever I put something out and you guys find issues, I try to fix stuff as quick as I can, but um, I am one man. One man. All right, so here we go. We'll be able to see all the graphical glitches at long range from up here. And again, it's not like the end of the world, but it's not great either. So, like I said, do you see the, 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 the landscape glitching the hell out way over there? So that's because the new camera can only see as far as where that tree line is. The rest of it in the distance, you'll notice this on longer range maps, looks glitchy as beans. That's just part of the sacrifice. But personally, I would rather have an extremely good frame rate in first person and have just some of that crap going on in the background way back there. Uh, for the most part, when you're bunching or loading or doing stuff, you're not going to see all that stuff in the background. You're going to be, you know, locked in with your trees nice and close to the ground. But just in, a, in the odd event somebody notices that, that's what's happening. Um, if you really want to change that, you can go and edit and change it yourself. But uh, I really don't care about the glitchy landscape in the background because I'm mowing trees at 60 FPS all the time now, which is super nice. So, yeah, anyway, um, I'm putting this out right now as of this video, the new buncher head. Um, give it a shot play with it again. It's not perfect, but with the way the new game is I can't get anything 100% perfect like not like 19 was perfect But things seemed a little more effective then so hopefully hopefully you guys are at least still enjoying stuff and uh, 
yeah, we'll see how it goes. Can't wait to get some more stuff out to you guys. Anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.